welcome back to my channel Choose Joy with Carmen and in today's video I'm going to be showing you the card that I created for Craft for Let episode number 205. So this will be my 97th card submission and process video. I'm getting so close to that 100 mark so getting really excited about that. So I am using this paper, um, it's called, um, what's it called? Snail Mail. And it was interesting because when the parameters came up, I had just finished working on a card because I'm doing this series during Lent. So I'm making a memory dex card every day for 40 days during Lent. And I had just finished working on the card uh, for day, what is it, day 23, and I used this paper. So it, it worked out perfectly because the first parameter is a project and it says include an envelope. And so I immediately thought about this probably because I was I was just using it, right? So that's why I used this one. So let's move that aside. And then I'll pull in the card that I created, and then we'll go through all the other parameters. Now, I did make two because I started thinking, why am I only making one of these? So, you know, when you get a card base, and I usually like my card base to have a color. So I thought, well, why don't I just go ahead and... Uh, get two cards out of one, you know, sheet of eight and a half by 11 for my card base. So I decided to start doing it that way. So here are the cards. And um, this is just so cute. I just fell in love with it. So the project had to be include an envelope. So there's my envelope and I'm using the snail dip. Um, stamp set because in here the dies that I'm using there is a little envelope and I'm also using this die and this die and of course the one to die cut out my little mushrooms here so there is my project include an envelope and then we've got colors had to be party well, I don't know about any of you, but all these colors, I think, are very, very party colors, if that's even a word. But um, if it's not a word, well, you know, as we all know on Craft Roulette, we kind of make up our words. So there we go. But I think they're very cheery and colorful and bright, and I think of that as a party. Okay, so that takes care of that parameter. Then uh, the element had to be crowned. Well, I didn't know what to do for that. I was like, I had a little crown with these frogs, and I thought, well, maybe I could stamp some crowns here and there on the designer paper, and it, I, it just wasn't working for me. So I went into my Canva, because I've been doing that a lot lately for my memory dex cards that I'm doing daily, and I just created my own sentiment. And I thought, hey, let's just go ahead and create my own sentiment. So I said, um, crafting queen. And I put this little crown over the cue there. And that crown is, I don't know if you can see it, so cute. Because it's kind of like a little heart. Little hearts make up that crown. And then I made sure I matched the colors that are in this card to um, to my sentiment there. So there's my crown element. And then the random had to be three strips of paper. So all I did was took uh, the colors that I was using. I mean, I did my coloring and my Stampin' Blends of Real Red, Bermuda Bay, and Daffodil Delight. And I, Bermuda Bay is retired, but I loved that color and it matched the paper. So 
So those are the three strips that I decided to put behind there. And they didn't have any Stampin' Blends for Blushing Bride, and I wanted to color my little mushroom there to kind of match the one in the paper. So I just pulled out the retired uh, Stampin' marker. And then I just did some... Um, what color was this? This was the light crumb cake, and I just did that for the bot, the, I don't know what you call those, are the mushrooms. So there we go. And then um, I brought in um, real red because I wanted to stamp a sentiment on the inside. So I brought in this picture perfect birthday because I wanted it to say happiest of birthdays to you. So because I wanted to say hello crafting queen and then you open it up and say happiest of birthdays to you and then um, put some more of that paper at the bottom love it love it love it so this would really be cute for anybody that's in um, since you know in the craft roulette community because we're all crafting queens right now, I'm sure we have a lot of crafting kings out there, too. Probably not as many as crafting queens. But so you could, if you wanted to create a card for um, uh, one of the men in our, in our crafting community, you could just switch that up to say crafting king, which I think would be really cute, too. And so this would be a great birthday card for any one of them in our group or any of the crafters you have in your life okay well there we go there are my cards for craft roulette episode number 205 and i hope you enjoyed that if you did a thumbs up would be greatly appreciated okay well until tomorrow when i show my memory dex creation using the same paper and products um hope you all have a great evening and remember choose joy and may god bless you all bye bye